Picking the right college is key. And with one-on-one -on -one attention and hands-on experience, UCCS fuels success. I wanted more than a degree. So with innovative courses and affordable tuition, UCCS fuels success. Apply today at uccs.edu. It only takes one. Imagine bridging the gap that keeps students from achieving their dreams. Imagine making the difference in the life of just one student, fueling his or her success and that of an entire community. It only takes one person. At UCCS, our students come from working families. They work multiple jobs. They're the first in their families. They overcome obstacles and they want an education that will fuel their success and help them shape the world. It only takes one person willing to start a movement. UCCS students will change our collective future, but they need our help. Many fall through the cracks each year. Their focus on schoolwork suffers from financial pressures. Together, we can fuel their success through a campaign that is essential to our community, our region, and all of Colorado. One gift can fuel success. With your help, our students will step into the classroom with a breadth of opportunity at their fingertips. Experiential learning, faculty who care, growing facilities to accommodate a changing workforce, and research that can change the world. But it starts with one. One less sacrifice made. One less night shift. One less year to graduation. One more chance to focus on what's important. One more life-changing expert to learn from. One more amazing professional ready to join my team. One more reason to stay and work in the Pikes Peak region. One more graduate of the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. Remarkable outcomes are possible when you invest even in one person, one student, one future. You can start the movement. You can be the agent of change, shattering expectations for families, communities, companies, cities, states, generations. Collectively, each one of us can change the trajectory of the future. Your one gift, joined with others, will make a difference that lasts generations. That's when the power of one becomes the power of many. That's the power of UCCS. You can be the power of one. The mountain lion can travel up to 370 miles. Located primarily in North America, these majestic creatures can traverse a large variety of terrain. There are, of course, some natural barriers. UCCS, find your inner mountain lion. I really remember that because I was really excited and I was really scared and it was really hard, you know, saying goodbye to my family and um, I think that was really scary for me, you know, never leaving the state, being first generation and stuff. I didn't really know what to expect from my college experience. The first thing that comes to mind when I think about what surprised me about living on campus is how open everyone was in the first couple weeks to get to know other people. Me and a couple other people I had met started playing volleyball in just an open field and then within 20 minutes there were about 30 people in the circle all just hitting a volleyball around and it's something that just showed me how open people were to meeting new people. I had never had the opportunity, you know, to ever share a room growing up and stuff. And so it just so happened that like me and my roommate like got along very, very well and um, as well as our other suite mates. 
So I'm a resident assistant in Summit Village and that is essentially a student upperclassman who lives on the floor with the new year freshmen, sometimes upperclassmen, who kind of just guide them through their first year on campus. There are tons of different rooming options here on campus. The first one that we see most commonly is known as Summit Village, and we have privates in a suite, we have private bedrooms, private bathrooms, we have a double in a suite, um, we have triples in a suite, so there's tons of different options. Definitely when you are coming to college, there's so many different personality types, and so it's really important to find an area within housing that is best for you. Um, so I personally really love having a private bedroom, private bathroom, but then I have some friends who really enjoy being able to have a more social aspect, and so they have a double bedroom with a living room. Different floors have different themes. Let's say you really are enjoying leadership. Well, we have a leadership floor. Let's say you're a criminal justice major or a nursing major. We also have floors for that. Education, once again, my favorite floor because I'm an education major. There's even um, non-education based ones such as Colorado Living and they do a lot of things filtered around the community, like going out to Garden of the Gods and just getting experience about what does it mean to live in Colorado Springs. For me, when I'm not in class or not studying in the library, I'm usually hanging out with friends in their rooms, watching TV, uh, playing video games, different stuff like that, or we're going off campus, either hiking in the bluffs behind the school or exploring Colorado Springs. We have two dining halls that we're available to us to eat at, and when we go there, they have so many different varieties of food, and you really can just taper it to your diet. So I have residents who are vegan, and they have no trouble finding food on campus. I have people with gluten allergies or who are uh, lactose intolerant, and they have the availability to go to the dining hall and eat whatever they want because they are accommodated there. But then there's people like me who literally want cookies every single meal and can get them, um, along with french fries and pizza and pasta. So there's just always different options every time of the day. In the dining halls, there's different sections that are in each of them, both at the lodge and over at the Roaring Fork. And no matter what you're feeling, depending on any time of day, there's gonna be options there. I think a lot of people think on campus living, you know, is supposed to be super studious, super, you know, serious, but I think it can be a lot of fun when you make it that way. I've met some of my closest friends uh, from just living on the same floor. The one thing about living on campus is that chances of like you getting involved in something tend to be spontaneous. They're not always structured. So you meet people that you normally wouldn't talk to or you normally wouldn't have classes with and you'll have that opportunity just to study together, go out to eat together. So it's just kind of limitless. I wanted more than a degree. So with innovative courses and affordable tuition, UCCS fuels success. Apply today at uccs.edu.
My name is Jason Mitchler. I'm Director of Operations of the Hibble Center and I work for Centura Health. In simple terms, the altitude chamber works by changing the percentage of oxygen in the air. So if it's a low percentage, then we are at higher altitude. If it's a higher percentage, then we are at lower altitude. We're the only retail altitude chamber in Colorado Springs, and probably there's only a few in this state. And the other thing that's unique about us is, is we're not, we don't require a membership. So you could come in and do one session, you could buy a month-long session, or you could buy a punch card. And so that's what makes this space unique. So what it does is that if someone's training at high altitude, some of the benefits are there's some physiological adaptations that happen. So improved endurance, improved VO2 max, improved recovery time, better oxygen to the tissues. For low altitude, the big thing is, is you're able to train at a higher pace. Why that matters is because it changes your neural turnover, your ability to run faster, so that when you go and you run a race, you're able, your body has ran at that faster pace for a while, and so it's just a good ad adaptation also. So in the chamber, there's four woodway treadmills, the Techno Step Mill, and then we also have the capability to put top of the line Atomax, the stationary bikes in there. Monday and Friday, we run it at low altitude, so our sea level. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, we run it at high altitude. Um, for high altitude, it, de it depends on what we're doing for that week. So either we'll run it based on what the the client or the athlete altitude they'd like to run at. Usually it's an hour session. So if you want to train here, probably the best way is to go on the hibblecenter.org website. And also you can email us at centurasportsperformance.org and we can get a hold of you. And then our email and our, and our phone number are all on the website. It's probably the best way to get us get scheduled here. The mountain lion is one of the strongest members of the feline family. The average mountain lion lives five times a day and consumes up to three times its weight in protein. It shares many characteristics with its domestic counterparts, the good and the bad. UCCS, find your inner mountain lion.
the NCAA, Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, and UCCS value respect and are committed to elevating good sportsmanship. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and game officials in a positive manner. Profanity, racist, homophobic, or sexist comments, or other intimidating actions directed at officials, student athletes, coaches, team representatives, or anyone in attendance will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal from the site of competition. We encourage you to cheer for your favorite team during today's game. We appreciate your cooperation in creating a safe, positive, and inclusive game environment for everyone. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside the Gallagher Events Center on the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs campus, right here in Olympic City, USA, for today's RMAC volleyball matchup, featuring the visiting Colorado Christian University Cougars and your UCCS Mountain Lions! Before we begin today's match, please join us in recognizing our 2022 Volleyball Graduating Senior Class. We would like to take this moment to recognize our five amazing seniors and their accomplishments here at UCCS. Hannah Emmerman, Emily Attell, Julia Geiger, Jordan Kinsey, and Madison McIntosh. First, please welcome to the court, Hannah Emmerman. In her final semester at UCCS, Hannah Emmerman has competed in all 25 matches and started in 24 of them. She leads the team with 252 kills and has added 34 blocks, 151 digs, and 11 aces. Her 2.9 kills per set this season are the 13th most in the RMAC. In five years playing for the Mountain Lions, Hannah has seen action in 109 matches and has started 75 of them, the ninth most in program history. She has accounted for 790 kills and has a career-hitting mark of 190. The three-time RMAC All-Academic Honoree and 2021 RMAC Honorable Mention Selection, Hannah has recorded more than 500 gigs and blocked nearly 140 attacks. She will graduate next month from UCCS with a degree in history. Joining Hannah today are her parents, Brett and Maria, her siblings, Mary and Sebastian, her cousin Joseph, and her best friend, Lauren Shockley. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for number five, Hannah Emmerman. Emily Attell. A dedication to last throughout the years. So bring your good time. Emily has represented the black and gold for four seasons, competing in 73 matches as a setter. She ranks ninth in UCCS career record books with 1,727 assists, an average of 7.3 assists per set. From Inglewood, Colorado, Emily has accounted for 118 kills, 39 aces, and 49 blocks. Named to the RMAC All-Academic Honor Roll three times, she will receive a degree in Biology and Biomedical Sciences from UCCS this May. Joining Emily today are her parents, Jennifer and Ray, and her boyfriend, Nick. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for number nine. Emily Attell!
All right, so here's Julia Geiger. She is a native of Littleton, Colorado. She's competed in 63 matches in her four years with the Mountain Lions. She has registered 328 kills in her career behind a 22.2 hitting percentage and 86 blocks. This season, Julia is one of two Mountain Lions to have started all 25 matches. She leads the team with a 238 hitting mark and is second in blocks with 48. A two-time RMAC All-Academic Honor Roll member, Julia will graduate this spring with a business degree. She is joined today by her parents, Tom and Nikki. And hopefully she has a big night tonight in a must-win game. Congratulations to Julia and her family. Next, this is Jordan Kinsey, libero for the Mountain Lions. Jordan is a six-year member of the UCCS Mountain Lions volleyball program. Jordan Kinsey ranks fourth all-time in the career books with 1,667 digs, fifth in matches played with 116, fifth in aces with 105, and sixth in the career set played with 435. Named to the RMAC All-Academic Honor Roll four times in her career, Jordan has averaged 3.8 digs per set in her career and added nearly 300 assists and 105 aces. This season, Jordan has collected more than 300 digs in 25 matches and has served up the second most aces on the team with 24. From Colorado Springs, Jordan received her undergraduate degree last spring and will graduate in July 2023 from UCCS with a Master's of Arts degree in Leadership. Joining Jordan today are her parents, Steve and Tracy, her sister Jade, her grandmother Kathy Dagnall, and her boyfriend Wyatt Waylands. And of course, I did say earlier that she is fourth all time in the career books. She just needs 16 more tonight to bump up to the third all time. A great career for Jordan, so congratulations to her. our final senior of tonight. This is Madison McIntosh. Madison comes from St. Louis Park, Minnesota. She's defensive specialist and has seen action in 60 matches in her four years with the Mountain Lions. A two-time RMAC All-Academic Honor Roll selection, Madison has dug up 166 attacks from the back row and has chipped in 18 aces. In 21 sets this season, Madison has registered 17 digs and served up five aces. This spring, Madison will receive her business degree from UCCS. She is joined today by her parents, Sydney and Lee, and her boyfriend, Hans. Congratulations to Madison. And there you see it once again that's our all our seniors together all five hannah emily julia jordan and madison with their families Um, so everyone, thank you for joining us tonight here at the Gallagher Center. My name is Ben Davies. I'll be your talking head for this evening. We'll get the uh, national anthem here in a little bit after the final photos of our five graduating seniors. We we'll get right into this uh, very important RMAC deciding match, the last home match for UCCS tonight and potentially their last match this season. We'll see how that works out. But once again, congratulations to these five seniors. This is a nice feel-good story to start us out before we uh, get into the
crazy game that we're about to have. I have high hopes for tonight. I think it's going to be a, a well-contested match, lots of back and forth. And of course, the uh, ramifications for playoffs is, is huge. Come on, Sarah, take the photo already. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. A lot of emotions to start us off. Hopefully that translates to, uh, to some good volleyball. I usually think that it does. I'm, I'm one of those people. Play better with passion than without. We'll get here into the starting lineups just in a bit. You see there Colorado College lined up on the right side of the screen. They're in white and blue today. We'll get, announce their starting lineup here in just a second. And then soon to join us will be the Mountain Lion squad. They're in black and gold. And they'll be on the left side of your screen. We'll start off here though first with the national anthem. Of our national anthem. So welcome back volleyball fans for another night of action here. If you joined us last night, you saw Metro State. Tonight we have Colorado College. So we get to the opening lineup. That was the libero number two, Jessa Rose. And then number three, Taryn Deben Adetto, defensive specialist. There's Anna Merrill, number six. Setter number seven, Izzy Jones. Outside hitter number nine, Libby Goodman, Janelle Dubauer, and we have the coach Bobby Blanket and assistant coach Lydia Bartalo. And then now your UCCS Mountain Lions. First we have setter Riley Babcock. Number one. And then one of our seniors that we're celebrating tonight, Obero Jordan Kinsey. Once again, she needs 16 digs tonight to break into three all time on the all time digs list. And then here's our junior middle blocker, Nicole Medlin, number three. And the freshman DS slash setter, Joey Barella, number four. And then another one of our seniors, Hannah Amberman, number five. She uh, has been playing outside this season, so we'll see a lot of her tonight. Skip down the line a little bit here to number 11, Reagan Emery. And then last but not least, another one of our seniors, number 14, Julia Geiger.
And then the Mountain Lions are coached by Tara Hiddle and Kristen Krulik. Get the coaches' handshakes. Teams go in, they get their little cheer on. But mostly, we'll talk about the uh, potential playoff ramifications for tonight and the RMAC standings. Right now, UCCS, if you go on the website, they're in the eighth slot, but they are tied record-wise with Fort Lewis in number nine. Uh, if you remember earlier in the season and been following the Mountain Lions, they lost to Fort Lewis, so they do not have the head-to-head -head tiebreaker against Fort Lewis. Fort Lewis today is playing New Mexico Highlands, who is uh, currently ranked 12th in the RMAC, so a winnable game for them. Meanwhile, Colorado Christian comes in sixth in the RMAC, so a tougher opponent for the Mountain Lions, so really they're looking at a must win. If they win and Fort Lewis loses, then they get that eighth and final spot in the RMAC playoffs. So a big matchup here. Also, if you remember earlier in the season, middle of September, Mountain Lions traveled up to Denver, played Colorado Christian, and lost in three. A lot has happened since then. Both teams have, uh, you know, definitely grown and adapted their play style and adjusted to personnel changes. We'll see how all of those come into play tonight in this key matchup. And then once again, I want to focus there. Jordan Kinsey coming in the game. Needs 16 digs. 16. She has done that seven times this year. She's had 16 or more digs in a single match seven times this year. She needs to do that again tonight to get third all time. And her team definitely needs that presence. She can be a, a spark plug in the back row. What a great way to start. Jolie Barella gets the ace. And that's how we start off. Strong here start for the Mountain Lions. Much better pass this time. Good dig here from Barella. Just a high ball outside to Emery. Good swing there. Oh, and that ball is in. Was that a dig kill? That's Emmy Overson in the back row with the dig kill. Don't see that very often. Now checking in the game for Colorado Christian, Mega Pitton. She'll serve. There's that middle matchup I think will be so important. Just a free ball here though for Colorado Christian. Kinsey with the dig there. High ball. Nope, just another free ball for the Cougars. Setter dump denied there. Great read by Emery. Kinsey with another dig here. Emery just goes for a roll shot there. And Julia Geiger gets the swipe block for the kill. Just a little overpass there. We'll get a couple more substitution. Mackenzie Ransom here for the Mountain Lions checking in. There she is about to serve for UCCS. Oh, and gets the ace. Great serve from Ransom. right back at her much better pass this time and then Goodman takes advantage of that seam and puts it away that's number nine Libby Goodman she is the points leader here for her team I'm sure we'll be calling her name a lot tonight Izzy Jones here with the serve Julia Geiger with a tip great dig there from Rose Kinsey here with a free ball Ammerman with a swing. Can't get it to drop though. Barella with the dig. High ball here to Babcock. Oh, she gets the kill high off the hands. Nice rally there from both teams. Ultimately, points to the Mountain Lions, but you see both these teams already came out to play, knowing uh, kind of the ramifications of tonight. Hope to see a lot of this. Oh, 
on off speed gets the job done. You can see her just kind of shrugging there. That was Allie Douglas with the kill. She's kind of shrugging. I think she kind of mishit it and was like, you know what, it worked. So got the kill. Here's Libby Goodman with the serve. Mountain Lion still trying to work those middle, unable to get that kill this time with Medlin. High ball out to Ammerman. She goes with the off speed, dug up by Goodman though. Free ball here for the Mountain Lions though. They go right at the second setter. And Ammerman finds the line, big hard swing into that outside hand of the block. And pound, and that's another point for the Mountain Lions. Tori Perduk just checked in the game. She'll be playing front row and Riley Babcock there on your screen, back to serve. Kenzie all over that tip. Still trying to work those middles, unable to get that one. Izzy Jones with the dig. Big block there by Perduk. Oh, the pipe from Goodman is out. Love to see that play in transition. It's a underutilized play in my opinion here in uh, the RMAC, but Love to see Goodman taking a big rip out of the back row. Mountain Lions now have a three-point lead. Babcock to serve again. Oh, what a play. I thought that was going to be over, but no. Ace for Babcock. Mountain Lions very aggressive from the service line to start this opening set. Oh, and that one just too strong. It goes long point for CCU. Switch up here on the middles, and um, Muriel will come into the front row for uh, Cougars, and Jessa Rose, the libero here to serve. Rose with the dig. Oh, and a net violation is called on the Mountain Lions. Point to the Cougars. Great dig there from Rose, just sitting in that seam shot from Amberman. Ultimately, the biggest play for that rally to get her team that point. It's Tori Purdue kiss that one just out. The Cougars on a little run here and there. Climbs back in, it's just a one point game now. Overpass there from Ammerman. Unable to put it away. Good dig there from Perduk. And Ammerman ultimately gets the kill off the block there. And the Mount Lions find that side out some way, somehow. Reagan Emery checks in to play front row and the opposite part to her in the rotation, Hannah Ammerman. She'll serve. And gets the ace. Another ace here for the Mount Lions. It's just a ace party at this point. Everybody's getting in on the action. It's another tough serve from Ammerman. Oh, and Kinsey unable to corral that one. That's Emmy Overson with the kill from the outside. Now checking in number three. Uh, Taryn Di Benedetto, she will serve here for the Cougars. Great dig there from Rose. Oh, and Overson into the nets. Point for the Mountain Lions. Mountain Lions still trying to make that middle connection, trying to establish it early here in the first set. Yet to net a kill out of it, but I love to see that feel like a, it's a completely different team when they can establish their middles or not. Good roll shot there from Reagan Emery. Recognizing the set is not exactly where she wanted. Recognizing a big double block. She just goes for the deep corner. And that's her kill. Jordan Kinsey to serve. And unable to corral that was Kinsey. Anna Merrill with the kill. 
Good wrist away shot there from the middle. Here's Overson from the service line now. There it is. Finding the middle, Julia Geiger. The big cross body swing gets the kill. see Joey Barella checking in. We'll serve, play back row and set for the Mountain Lions. The setter dump, but it's out, it's in, it's, it's, we don't know what the call is. It's a net violation. And we're gonna get a little discussion here from the judges. Nobody knows what happened, apparently. We'll check out this replay, see if we can see what happened. So that line judge does call it in. And I think that's what they're saying. That's, that's what they're gonna call, that, ball, that ball's in. Get a little discussion here between the down ref and the Mountain Lion head coach. I think she wants to challenge this, yeah. Yep, so here we go. Here's our first challenge of the night. We got to avoid this last night. Not tonight. We're going to get a, a little time delay here in action, try to get this call correct. We're going to see if this ball was in or not. I don't know um, how this is going to go. I think you guys got an instant replay maybe for us of this. That's really close. Like the line judge made the call, but we'll see what they can get on the video feed for the down ref. See there, he's looking at something. I don't know. He seems pretty convinced right away so whatever this looks like he uh he's very confident in it and the call is the ball is out so well done head coach tara hiddle with the challenge netting your team a point You know, when you think about it, she was standing right there on, on the, that play. She was standing right on that line on the replay. You could see the ball landed just in front of her. So she had a pretty good view. Probably helped her uh, make the decision to challenge that. Just a little stoppage to play because the scorekeeper has to reverse the points in the books. And then we're probably getting a lineup check as well to make sure that we're in the correct part of the rotation. And that's uh, Joey Barilla is the server. There we go. All right, split hit for the Cougars. Front row setter. Back to some volleyball. Right, Goodman hits that one long. She kind of put her hand up like she was going to say touch, but then she didn't seem super convinced about it either. Points in the Mountain Lions, and they're off to a quick lead here in the opening set. Oh, Barella hits that one just wide. Service has been very aggressive here from the Mountain Lions. I, I like to see it. Sometimes you'll get those errors with that. And right now, they're definitely in the positive in that regard. So keep, keep it up, team. Megan Pitton checks in again. We'll serve here for the Cougars. Barella with a good dig there. High ball to the outside. Oh, and a huge block. That's Izzy Jones, the setter, putting the clamps on outside hitter Reagan Emery. Big point there for the Cougars as they try to whittle into this mountain lion lead. And that serve goes long from Pitten. Points of the mountain lion. So we'll get 
subs on both sides of the net. We just have a, a interesting one here from the Cougars where they just kind of sub their middle out for a server and then they resub them out and then take out the libero. You know how it is. Anyways, Ransom with the serve. Five point lead from Mount Lions. Good tough serve from her. And that ball does not get over the net. Point for the Mountain Lions, another hitting error. Ransom with another great serve too. She's serving this hard, flat floater into the deep part of the court. It's kind of handcuffing some of these serve receive players for the Cougars. Well, that one dropped on them. Still a good pass though. Ransom gets a dig out of it. Oh, and that one sailed on Babcock. Point for CCU. Number one, Allie Douglas checks in front row, and there on your screen is Izzy Jones. Will serve next. Great pass there from Kinsey. Oh, great block on the outside on Aramin. Oh, in the middle setter connection, off in the transition, and another hitting error goes in the books. What a swing. Julia Geiger with the wrist away, finding the deep corner. Nobody home on the defense there. I mention this every broadcast, I'll mention it again. If you hit into those corners, you're going to get points. It's guaranteed. You saw that there from Julia Geiger just now. Oh, what a swing from Goodman. That seems to be the play she really likes is that inside back two. She's hitting it a lot in warm-ups. It's that heavy cross ball. So big kill from her, and then she'll go back and serve. Oh, Rose is able to get that good dig from her. Free ball here for the Mountain Lions. And the middle hitter, Nicole Bedlin. That's the play they've been trying to get multiple times now with both middles. Success there now from Nicole Medlin. We've already called Julie Geigerson a couple times, but Nicole Medlin getting in on the action with that big one swing. Free ball here from Mountain Lions. See if they can capitalize. Another free ball. Oh, great dig from Jones. Kinsey on that one. Oh, and that one. Spatula sails on Tory Perduke. And we get another hitting error. If uh, these stats online are up to date, that's going to be our 10th hitting error of this set. Here's Jessa Rose with the serve. And that ball is out of bounds. Point for the Mountain Lions as we kind of start getting into this later part of the match. See if uh, Fort Mountain Lions can maintain this lead. Hannah Anderman with the serve. Regan Emery checks in, should be playing front row. Oh, off the head of the block. And then the setter dump, Kinsey's all over it, read it like a book. And then the massive block, Anna Merrill this time. Allie Douglas on the assist. Taryn D. Benedetto with the serve here. Emery with a huge swing into the seam. There was not a big seam on that block. I would say it was maybe two ball, a uh, ball and a half length. She found it somehow, and put some mustard on it. Gets the kill. Five point lead still here for the Mountain Lions. Looking to uh, close this out. Look at a shot here to go up again. Rose with a big dig. 
Oh, the huge stuff, Tori Purdue. Assisted there by Julia Geiger, but really Tori just all over that line shot. Puts the roof up and we'll get our first timeout of the afternoon taken by Colorado Christian as they uh, are down six now, staring down at this timeout and it's pretty much their only option. Way to hold on to it though. They've been sitting somewhere between a four and six point deficit. So instant replay. That's that dig kill from Overson. Love to see it because you don't see it often. And then Julie Geiger with a swipe on the overpass. Big line swing from Ammerman for the kill. And the ace serve there from Ammerman. Love the celebration afterwards as well. There was that call that we had challenged. And then the big swing from Libby Goodman. And here, chasing down this ball as well. Get this free ball for the Mountain Lions. That ball bouncing around, and then the setter dump, which was covered, but interesting play here from both teams. They, um, I think both teams came ready to play. We don't see some of that stagnation that we normally do. However, high level of hitting errors in this first set so see if we can clean that up a little bit it's not because the hitting errors are so big because they got blocked but rather you know just unforced errors hitting them out of bounds or into the net so out of the timeout jordan kinsey to serve looking to uh, increase this lead here for the mountain lions that ball is between the line judge's legs points of the mountain lions Tough pass there. Great one-handed stab there from the setter, Izzy Jones. And they're saying, no, we didn't touch that. That swing did not get over the net. So four hits, another point for the Mountain Lions as they're on a run here. Just need to force two more points to win this set. Uh, that one in the net. Great run though from Jordan Kinsey, putting her lead, or excuse me, putting her team up big here in the first set. Emmy Overson with the serve for Colorado Christian, trying to will her team back to this match. Good set there from Babcock. Oh, and they get the net violation as well. So a point for the Mountain Lions, and we will get our first set point. Honors going to number four, Joey Barella with the serve. We'll see if the Mountain Lions can close it out here, their first chance. Oh, and that serve just long. Good aggressive serve, but just long. Points to CCU. Megan Pitton checks in, will serve. Mountain Lions just need one side out to close out this set. They'll get a bunch of chances to do it. And uh, we'll get a double contact call there from the up ref. Setting error there. Point to the Cougars. Uh, and that serve in the net and uh, that little anticlimactic is how we will close out the first set going to the Mountain Lions 25-18. Once again, this is a must-win situation for the Mountain Lions. We'll see how uh, the Cougars will respond in set number two. All right, so we'll just take a couple minute break here between sets and we'll be back with set number two. Thanks for tuning in.
And we are back here at the Galilee Event Center for set number two between Colorado Christian University and University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. We saw set number one go to the Mountain Lions. See how both teams are just here in the second set. Once again, important RMAC playoff implications to tonight's match potentially. Also, we're on a dig tracking score here for Jordan Kinsey trying to move her way up into the Mountain Lion record books. So, so far through the first set, Kinsey has five digs. She needs 16 on the night. Great opening set. Five is above her average of 3.8 a set. So, well done. Keep it up, Kinsey. Let's see, let's see you break the record. So starting us out, number four, Emmy Overson with the serve. Oh, Emery going for the cross court shot. Really tough. She's way out of bounds. Has to get inside the antenna. Like the aggression, though. Still an error and a point to the Cougars. Mount Lions still trying to get that middle going. And Libby Goodman with the kill on the outside. High, hard swing off the top of the block. So two points to the Cougars. Overson still serving. Ooh, tough pass here. Just a high ball to Emery. And she gets the kill. You know what they say. Win in a fiddle. Hit deep middle. Some people say it at least, I guess. Worked out there for Emery as she, uh, you know, not the best set. Definitely not in tempo. Hard swing into the deep part of the court in the middle. Gets the kill. And that ball hits the antenna. Point to the Mount Lions. And we're tied up at two. And well, that ball sails long there on Ransom. Back and forth we go. Now serving is number five, Megan Pitton for the Cougars. Oh, great dig there from Goodman off the block. Geiger gets her own coverage on the block. Ransom with the dig. Right back to Julia Geiger, and there is the net violation. And a point for the Mountain Lions. Julia Geiger now to serve for the Mountain Lions. Nicole Medlin checks in the game to play front row. We're all tied up at three. That was an interesting play. Goodman with the kill on the outside start, but she really took and slowed down her approaches. That set was like a high ball. I think the defense was expecting more tempo set to the outside. Didn't get it, but kind of blocked like it was that. And so she, they were coming down as she was hitting the ball. Oh, and a big block in the middle. Number 12, Janelle DeBoyer. Big play there for Colorado Christian, and they're up two. Oh, and the big swing from Hannah Amron. Had an open seam, took advantage of it. Big rip from the outside. Tori Perduke checks in in the front row. Riley Babcock to serve. a free ball here for the Mountain Lions. Oh, big dig there from Rose. On oh, the swing on the outside. Getting the job done. That was Allie Douglas with the kill for the Cougars. D. 
Di Benedetto with the serve here for the Cougars. And Tori Perdue gets the kill from the right side. Southpaw getting the job done. Hannah Ammerman back to serve for the Mountain Lions. We have a one point game as we go back and forth between these two teams. That one sails, looking for a touch, not gonna get it. Point to the Mountain Lions. Doesn't look like we'll get a challenge or anything, but uh, it seems like they wanted the touch and we're all tied up here at six. Good dig there from Babcock. High ball to the outside. Rose covering that one. That's a good dig from Jones. Kinsey over that tip. And this is a crazy rally. Rose with another dig. And the huge block by Tori Perduke ends the rally. Smiles all around for the Mountain Lions as the fans erupt. That was a huge play, a long rally, and a big momentum builder for the Mountain Lions. Ammerman still serving. A great dig from Ammerman. And Emery gets a block on the other side of the net. Pin to pin blocks here for the Mountain Lions and back to back points. Point to the Mountain Lions and they take back this lead up two now. Overson denied again, Tori Perduke and Nicole Medlin. Three straight points here for the Mountain Lions. That's a block party. Medlin with the dig there. Good high swing there from Emery. Can this play alive? Kinsey with this dig. And that set out of play points for the Cougars as they get that side out they've been looking for. Merrill checks in, play front row for CCU, and Rose back to serve. See if they can cut back into this lead. Oh, tough serve there from Rose. Overson with the tip, covered by Kinsey. Another tip here for the Mountain Lions, diving dig from Rose. Huge block there, well covered from the Mountain Lions. Somehow over the net, Kinsey with the dig. I, I can't believe what we're seeing. This is just crazy rallies. Players have to be exhausted at this point. <laughs> Oh, the kill for Merrill ends the rally. So one long rally going to the Mountain Lions and one long rally going to the Cougars here in set number two. And we have a one point game. This is honestly what I was anticipating going to this matchup. I think this is a closely matched team. So this back and forth and these long rallies is kind of what we expect to see as <laughs> Bradley Babcock gets a little uh, roll over the net there on the setter dump for the kill. Jordan Kinsey with the serve. Dig there for Kinsey. Big swing from Emery, covered by Rose. Nice one-handed stab there from Jones to keep the play alive. And Emery finds the seam. That's that deep middle shot yet again, getting a kill for the outside. Reagan Emery, the Mount Lions go up three now. Oh, and a good swing there from Allie Douglas, gets the kill. 
off the hands of Reagan Emery on the block and then Jordan Kinsey in the back row. Ultimately, point goes to the Cougars. Great diving dig there from Rose. And Julia Geiger with the jumbo shrimp just pushing the ball into the deep part of the court gets the kill. Now serving is number four, Joey Barella for the Mountain Lions. And Emery gets the tool off the block. Point to the Mountain Lions. Wanted to point out as well that Kate Ringer, number 17 for the Cougars, just checked in. She is the other setter for the Cougars. So the Cougars running a 6-2 right now. Switching from the 5-1 to the 6-2. Kinsey gets that dig there. Emery somehow through the block, got that kill. She's not even looking at the net. She's, she's looking at the stands and just has that crossbody cut shot. Gets the lucky bounce in between the hands of the blockers. And we'll get our first time out of the second set taken here by CCU. So five point lead here for the Mountain Lions, set number two. That part of it has been similar to set number one. That lead from the Mountain Lions right around the four to six point range. Uh, kind of, uh, the, this set feels a lot different though. A lot of longer rallies. Both teams seem to be uh, just on top of each other's plays. And a lot of digs, a lot of uh, broken plays. All right, let's look at some stats leaders here. Points so far leading all players is Reagan Emery with seven, Hannah Emery with 6.5, Anna Merrill with four for the Cougars. Um, let's go back to the dig tracker. Jessa Rose with 12 digs. Joey Barella with 11. Oh, and there's some stats here on the screens from, from both teams. See that negative hitting percentage for the Cougars stands out. So, so it's a bit rough, it's a bit rough. This is a uh, team stats overall from, from both sets one and two. A lot of attacking errors. So out of that timeout, Barella still serving. On oh, that one, hits the pin. Little collision under the net as well. Everyone seems okay. So points to the Mountain Lions as their lead grows to six. Jones with the big swing on the right side. Getting it done and hitting this time. Gets the tool off the block and the side out for CCU. And the Overson to serve. And that ball is out of bounds. Kill for Julia Geiger. Crossbody swing there on the middle. Naked two ball in transition. Still a six point lead here for the Mount Lions as Mackenzie Ransom will serve. Dig here from Ransom. Now to Ammerman, she has the big swing. Players colliding in the back row there for the Cougars, but unable to corral it as this lead grows to seven here for the Mount Lions. Good tough serve there from Ransom. Barella with another dig. 
And Ammerman with that line shot. Crafty swing from the outside, just a high ball way off the net. She's hitting from like the 10 foot line, just rolls it down the line, finding the open court. And Ransom hits that one to the net. Strong serve, too strong that time. Trying to hit that flat ball right over the tape. We'll see Merrill here serve for the Cougars. And if the uh, Cougars can chip in to this lead at, or not. Oh my. Julie Geiger with a big swing for the kill. Not the intention, but there, there it is. Happens sometimes in volleyball. Julie Geiger gets the kill, but uh, follows it up with a service error. Point to the Cougars. Izzy Jones will serve. Allie Douglas checks in for the Cougars in the front row. Tight pass. The ref's calling back row. And Coach Tara Hiddle is saying to Joey Burrell, put your hands down. Just don't, just, just don't touch it. Just let it happen. Good dig here from Ransom, but an overpass. Ammerman over it though, she cuts the dig. Oh, unable to get the second one though. And uh, another point goes to the Cougars. And Coach Tara Hiddle doesn't like this lead slipping away from them. Still at five, but uh, calls the timeout. First timeout for the Mountain Lions in the second set. This, uh, this game, or sorry, this set really started out really close. So what was it, 10-9 10, 10 or something like that? And then the Cougars just fell apart, or Mountain Lions just blew them out at some point. Oh, there's that uh, big swing from Julia Geiger. Love the replay. So Mountain Lions in a commanding lead at this point. We will see what happens here out of this timeout because the Cougars have come back, right? They really um, found some momentum of their own on this little run. That's why we're getting this timeout. Uh, these uh, stats on the website have been updated. Originally had Joey Barello with all these digs, but I thought that was wrong. I shouldn't have said it. Anyways, Jordan Kinsey with a live and digs is, is where we're at. So we resume play here out of timeout. Free ball here for the Cougars. Goodman finds the deep line shot there from the outside. And out of the timeout, the Cougars maintain this run. Great shot there from Ammerman again, finding that deep corner. It's a really tough dig for the libero. And the Mountain Lions find that side out they've been looking for, maintaining this five point lead. Riley Babcock to serve. And that ball is hit out. Another point for the Mountain Lions. Mountain Lions cruising here, the later part of the second set. Oh, and the ace serve from Riley Babcock. If this continues, I would expect to see another Cougars timeout. Seven point lead now. And another ace from Babcock. No timeout, though.
Another tough serve here from Babcock. Just a free ball for the Mountain Lions. And the kill from Ammerman in the seam. Mountain Lions just pouring it on here in the second set. Oh, here we will see set points. Oh, and that one just off the tape. And point for CCU. This is D. Benedetto with the serve. And she gets an ace. Cougars not going away just yet here in the second set. Don't listen to the score, it's not 25 points yet. There we go. <laughs> Still set point. Mountain Lions need one side out. Just like in set number one, they'll have a bunch of opportunities to do it. Pass here from Ammerman. Dig there from Kinsey. Oh, good dig there from Goodman in the back. Jones pushes it, but ransoms all over it. I have no idea what the call was. But the point goes to the Mountain Lions, and that's how we close out the second set. So second set goes to the Mountain Lions, 25-17. They're out to a two set to zero lead. And the Cougars will potentially be facing an elimination set number three here in a second. Get some replays here for you. Big swing here from Emery in that deep middle spot. Julie Geiger covering her own hit. Kill on the outside there from Goodman. And there's Douglas with a big kill on the outside. Great take there from Jessa Rose. And then a huge block there from Tori Purdue. Babcock just being able to cover that and shove it over the net. And then a huge block there for the Cougars. Somehow, Mount Lions kept that play alive. Crafty roll shot from Ammerman on the outside, deadening the kill. And then the big swing from Julie Geiger out of the middle. There's Goodman with that deep line shot. And then the ace serving from Riley Babcock that really closed out this second set. Big swing in the seam from Hannah Ammer. We've seen a lot of that tonight on the outside. Both outside hitters, Hannah Ammerman and Regan Emery have been finding a lot of success in that seam shot between the middle and the right side blocker of the Cougar defense. All right, points leaders for this match real quick. Julia Geiger, 8.5. Hannah Ammerman with eight. Reagan Emery with seven. The highest for the Cougars is Libby Goodman with five. Jordan Kinsey is at 12 digs right now on the stats. Once again, she needs 16, so she needs four in this third set, which would be awesome. So you see these signs on the wall here for the seniors. Once again, five seniors here celebrated senior night in the Galilee Event Center. Started this match really with um, some heartwarming scenes and some tears, but then quickly got into uh, some hard hitting volleyball. Mountain Lions keeping their rotation the same, no adjustments there. See what the Cougars do. They did uh, bring in their second setter for a little bit, see if they uh, will continue that, if they continue running the 6-2, or if they'll stick with the 5-1. They're uh, missing a player on the court right now. Only five. We're getting there, we're getting there. All right, looking at stats. 
from just the second set, not the whole match, just the second set. The hitting percentage for the Mountain Lions was 324, and the hitting percentage for the Cougars was 024, which is a huge disparity. So that hitting efficiency and that offensive attack for both teams is just come night and day. As Julie Barella will start us off here in the third and potential deciding set. Diving dig there from Kinsey, diving dig from Barella. Somehow got that ball over the net. Another dig here from Kinsey. Oh, and Rose gets in on the action with a diving one-handed stab of her own. Another tip here, Goodman gets the dig. Oh, we got a net violation. It looks like as Julia Geiger and uh, Reagan Emery were gathering for the block, they just kind of clipped the bottom of the net. Got the net violation, and the first point goes to the Cougars. All right, the stats now say that uh, Jordan Kinsey has 14 digs. Looking pretty close to that record. Emery with a huge swing in the seam. The middle, Merrill gets the dig though. Love to see the middle gets the dig. Izzy Jones with the gator here. Free ball here for the Mountain Lions. Oh, and Emery hits that one just long. Looking for that hard seam swing again. Unable to put it in the court though. Julia Geiger finds the kill. Little crossbody shot there. Number 12, Mackenzie Ransom there on your screen. Checks into the game. This will be her first serve of the set. Babcock unable to put that one away and we'll get a double hit. As Coach Tara Hiddle tries to argue that that was a block touch. But nothing doing, nothing doing. And here is Kate Ringer, number 17 for the Cougars. So it looks like we will see that 6-2 from CCU here in the third set. Oh, an overpass there and an easy point for the Cougars. That's number 12 for the Cougars. Janelle De Eber. Good pass there from Ransom. Great coverage there from Goodman. Izzy Jones with a step out approach. Uh, just out of bounds. Point to the Mount Lions. And we'll get the middles changing here for side of UCCS. Julie Geiger to serve. Nicole Medlin back in the front row. Mountain Lions looking to cut back into this lead. And another net violation. Points to the Cougars. So a bunch of unforced errors here from the Mountain Lions contributing to this three point lead for the Cougars. D. Benedetto with the serve. Ammerman on the tempo inside set. Gets the big kill. You can hear it here in the stadium too, the celebration after a big play. They call the double, but Tori Purdue with another huge block. If there's one thing that Tori Purdue does, it's get these highlight reel blocks, and she got another one there. Refs had to get in on the action, though. They needed to, to get the point. Oh, 
That's Abby Newell for the Cougars. Hit that ball just long, and we're tied up at five. So a couple of different uh, faces here on the Cougar side of the net, trying to change things up as they're down two sets to none. Ah, and another ace serve for Riley Babcock. See if the stats are updated on aces. Riley Babcock's been serving so well. Oh, and the crafty play just pushed to the corners. Like I said, that's where the points are, in the corners. The stats say that Babcock has three aces tonight. Feels like a little bit more, but that's, that's what we got. That's what we're going to go with. Just a rose to serve. Good block there at the net, but Tori Perdue is there to cover the block and get a kill. It was a little wonky play as you see the smile on all the players' faces because you don't see that one every day at practice. Checking into the game is another one of our seniors, number six, Madison McIntosh. Oh, and the tip gets the job done. That's Newell netting her first kill of the night, or afternoon, excuse me. Allie Douglas checks in for the Cougars, and Izzy Jones with the serve. And there it is. Newell with another kill. Tough swing, finding the seams between the block. CCU has the lead again. Ooh, tough pass there. Great set. Izzy Jones with the dig, though. Kinsey gets a piece of that one. McIntosh, oh, unable to keep it up. And Nua with another kill. And that substitution for the Cougars is looking like the right choice right now is Nua on a kill streak here. Good pass there from Kinsey. And Emery finds the high, hard swing for the kill. Jordan Kinsey will now serve for the Mountain Lions, trying to uh, earn back this lead for her team. High ball out to Emery. Oh, and her swing is just long. Point for the Cougars. Libby Goodman subbing back in, and Emmy Overson. We'll see Overson serve. We'll get a sub here for the Mountain Lions as well as number 16, Brooke Liker checks in. Good dig there from Jones. Free ball here for the Mountain Lions. And Geiger puts it away. Big swing out of the middle. Joey Barella checks in, will serve for the Mountain Lions. Still just a one point game, very tenuous back and forth in the middle part of the third set, just like we saw in the last set as well. You know, on that swing into the net, so point for the Mountain Lions and we are all tied up here, 10-10. serve into the net point to the Cougars as they take back that lead back and forth back and forth we go triple stack here for the Mountain Lions as you see Joey Barella the setter in this rotation Anna Merrill with the serve just off the tape Madison dives it's a pretty good pass but 
Joey Baroa unable to corral it. And we have a two point lead now for the Cougars. And that overpass this time put away by Libby Goodman. And the lead grows to three. Cougars on a run here. We're gonna get a timeout from UCCS. That's their first timeout of this third set. And this is the latest deficit that we've seen for the Mountain Lions. Usually at this point in the game, they have kind of start to gain momentum and take over, but not so here in the third set. These adjustments from the Cougars really uh, working, giving them just that slight edge. And then this latest run, you know, these three points in a row, just kind of capping it off for them. So Cougars on a good run. Mountain Lions looking to stop that, regain momentum and control of this match. See what happens going on here out of this timeout for the Mountain Lions. Hopefully they have a good play drawn up, a little miscommunication and uh, struggles there in the serve receive and some good servings from Anna Merrill. Tough serve. Sometimes it becomes really difficult to uh, control and run your offense when you can't even start with the pass. So see there Libby Goodman for the Cougars talking to her coach. She's leading her team in kills right now with six. All right, so out of this timeout, Mountain Lions have three hitters stacked. Top of the screen, Joey Burrell is still setting. They have Riley Babcock hitting on the right side, Julia Geiger in the middle, and Brooke Liker on the outside. The serve, this is where it starts. Merrill with the serve, need the pass. And another net violation. There's a lot of net violations in this game. But uh, side off for Mountain Lions nonetheless. As Mackenzie Ransom checks in, she'll serve. McIntosh subs out for Ammerman. Ammerman will play front row. Ransom serves that one into the net. And the lead back to three for the Cougars. Kate Ringer coming to the game for CCU. Trying to maintain this lead for her team. Oh, good set. Just a free ball here. Great dig there from Ransom. Jones gets this dig, high ball. Oh. A double. A lot of little errors here makes for less fun viewing for volleyball. And so that's a double on the setter. Points in the mountain lines. Julia Geiger will serve. Dig there from Barilla. And Babcock finds the kill. Tool on the outside hand of that block. The Mountain Lions get a big point from this. Cougars look to be switching up their serve receive here, trying a little different tactic. They now stack a little differently. And then they run back and don't stack that way. A little trickery. Tough pass there from Goodman. And she gets the kill. Hard cross court swing. Dee Benedetto will serve for the Cougars. We'll have Abby Newell also check in for the Cougars, played in front row. And a tough pass there. Babcock will take the set. Ammerman with the high swing. And we'll get another setting error. Uh, Tori Perduke checks in, front row for Mount Lions. Riley Babcock will serve. 
This is the closest that we've had so far at this point. Just a one point lead here for the Cougars though. Oh, big swing out of the middle for the Cougars. That's Janelle DeBauer with the kill. A little spark out of the middle for the Cougars. Now at a two point lead. You see uh, Jordan Kinsey trying to amp her team up, trying to get them back in, regain focus. A little pump fake there on the serve. The ref hadn't blown the whistle just yet. Good dig there from Ringer. Kinsey all over that one. Perduke with the big swing, but D. Benedetto with the dig. Oh, and Newell hits that one into the antenna. So a point for UCCS. And back and forth we go, back and forth we go. Reagan Emery comes in, we'll play front row. Hannah Emerman will serve. A little change from last time, Madison McIntosh was in this part of the rotation. Oh, and the tip from Midland gets the kill. Uh, we are tied up at 16. Oh, tough pass there. Good one ahead of set, but put away by Tori Purdue. Kill for the Mountain Lions, and they have regained the lead. Oh, I, once again, the corners, some harping on the corners. Great swing from Anna Merrill. Out of the middle, finding that deep corner to get the kill. And we're tied up yet again. Izzy Jones to serve for the Cougars. Great dig there from Rose. And Reagan Emery finds the kill. Just a hard high swing. Gets it off the top of the block and it just bounces around and finds the middle of the court for the kill. And Jordan Kinsey gets the ace. A huge point here for the Mountain Lions. So they go up two. Cougars will switch around their serve receive to adjust. The corners are just a black hole right now, sucking up all these kills. Abby Newell with the kill from the outside. Or was that? Nope, that was Allie Douglas. My apologies. Allie Douglas. Emmy Overson with the serve here for the Cougars. Good pass here from Ammerman. Back set to Purduke. Just blocked, covered by Emery. She'll get a swing at it. Goodman with a dig. Great set there from Jones. And Douglas with another kill, finding the tool off the block. And we are tied up at 19. Really tight, tense third set. Orverson to serve again. Mountain Lions looking for a side out. Ooh, and Julia Geiger gets the kill. Great set from Babcock. Great pass from Ammerman. Jolie Barella there checks in. She'll serve. Really tense game right now. Kinsey with the dig there. Oh, what a dig from Rose. One-handed stab. Big block there for the Mountain Lions. Oh, what a tip from Goodman, though. And we're back to tie game. You can feel the tension here at Galilee Event Center. It's just palpable in the crowd. Oh, 
Oh, great touch there from Merrill, but ultimately kill for Julia Geiger. She continues to be a threat out of the middle. And UC, UC, sorry, UCCS regains the lead. Kenzie Ransom with the serve. Huge block from Riley Babcock. And Julia Geiger with the assist. We'll get a timeout here for Colorado Christian. Their first of the third set. Uh, we have quite the set here. 22-20, really close game. Both teams making adjustments. Love to see it. Let's get into some of these highlights. It's that huge block we just saw from Riley Babcock. You see the big celebration. That's all part of it. You gotta celebrate your successes. Maintain that momentum. If I'm not mistaken, we should have another dig in the stat sheet for Jordan Kinsey which right now the website is saying then that she has the 16 that she needs to move in to the third spot all time. I'm not sure how official these live stats are, but if that's true, she's now third all time in UCCS women's volleyball history in digs. Pretty cool, pretty cool moment. Sorry we didn't stop the game and give her a game ball or something like that, but more important things to do right now, like you know, this and win this RMAC matchup and keep their playoff hopes alive. All right, so out of the timeout, just a tenuous two point lead from the Mountain Lions. Kenzie Ransom with the serve. Good dig here from Barella. High ball to Babcock. Overson's there though. Ransom gets this dig. And Ammerman with the kill from the outside. A huge point for the Mountain Lions. As they go up three here late in the third set. Ransom to serve again. Barello gets that dig. Another high ball to Ammerman, and she gets another kill, powers it through the block. Mountain Lions up four here now in the third set. Facing match point. Mountain Lions just need one more point to close out this match. block. Julia Geiger and Hannah Ammerman close out the third set and the match in style. Crowd is on their feet here. Huge win for the Mountain Lions, closing out three sets to zero. The third one, the most tense one, pulling away late though with the Mountain Lions, keeping their playoff hopes alive. Look at Fort Lewis College, see what, what their game's doing. What a match. Both teams, congratulations on a well fought match, and congratulations to these five seniors for a senior night. As is customary when you play CCU, we will invite everyone to a uh, just a little prayer circle after the game. I want to say uh, thanks to everyone joining us tonight. Appreciate you tuning in to GoMountainLines.com. Stay tuned on the, uh, the website for uh, details on playoff implications and, and what the ultimate fate of UCCS will be if this was their final match or if they have one more for the rest of the season. also want to say thank you to 
camera crew. You guys are awesome. Appreciate you. Thanks for coming out and making this uh, a little better broadcast than it usually is. So thanks to all you guys. And you see uh, tears from the seniors. Really emotional moment here for some of these student athletes. Great game from Jordan Kinsey netting that win. So here we'll get some final replays. Oh, I love that play, the dig kill. It's always exciting. That tip that was challenged, was it in, was it out? Big kill there from Ammerman. Great hustle here from the Cougars to keep that ball alive. A little bounce around here on the block and then the setter dump covered by Kinsey. And the huge block from Tory Purdue. That great play at the net between both of those Mountain Lion players. Just keep the ball alive. Here's another example of just great defense from the Mountain Lions all night. Oh, the big swing from Julia Geiger. Followed up by another big swing, that time from Hannah Ammerman. And then Izzy Jones with the dirty pineapple. Just push it into the deep corner. And Julie Geiger was just on fire tonight. Big swing from her out in the middle. Huge block from Riley Babcock on Libby Goodman. And then Ammerman with that big swing late in the third set to help close out this match. So once again, thanks everyone for uh, tuning in. GoMountainLions.com. Check out the website. See uh, what that ultimate fate of this team will be. And once again, thanks to everybody uh, here in this Galilee Event Center and the camera crew. You guys are the best. See you next season.